hello hello happy sunday happy new year thanks for tuning in if you're joining me for the very first time my name is kim dent and i am an independent stampin up demonstrator i've been a demonstrator for 22 years um, i live in maryland heights missouri and i love teaching stampers and crafters how to make cute and adorable greeting cards if you're if you found me on my youtube channel Thanks so much. Please leave me a comment, um, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a video. And also, I love finding out where everyone is from. So um, I'm amazed every time I take a look at the comments and I see that I've got um, stampers from all around the world. So um, please let me know where you're, where you're uh, watching from. Hello, Kathy. Hello, I think I saw Murph go by. Thanks for tuning in on this happy New Year's Eve. Um, Rick is upstairs. I think in a little bit he's going to grill some steaks. And I know we have some shrimp. And I'm sure we'll be watching a little bit of the TV and maybe watch the ball drop. Um, so, hello, hello, everyone. I have... Um, I hope all of you have recovered from the Christmas um, and holiday celebrations. My family actually has one more celebration um, get together and that's with Kyle and Kelly Jane, his wife, and then our daughter Kelly and her husband Mike and our little sweet granddaughter um, Vera Kimberly. So we have that to look forward to. So, to um, in the next couple weeks. So that's just something that we've done for about the last, I want to say five or so years. Um, we have delayed our Christmas get together um, so that we can, I guess, get through the hustle and bustle and enjoy just uh, a, an evening together. We usually watch the St. Louis Blues um, and have a meal together. Um, so we're looking forward to that. So hello, hello. I have um, I have two sweet cards that I'm going to be demonstrating. One is from uh, the stamp set that is out of the new mini catalog, and the other one is from the celebration uh, catalog. If you have not received a cat uh, both of those catalogs from me, please comment, send me an email send me a text or give me a call or a Facebook message. Um, I'm happy to, uh, if you've been my customer for about the last year, um, you should have received that, it's like a packet in the mail um, with both those catalogs in it. If you're a, um, brand new to watching me, you just found me and you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, I would love to be, be yours and help you out. So, um, Give me a shout out and I will pop those catalogs in the mail to you. The other thing for those of you who are watching either live or on the replay, my January classes at um, Zion Lutheran, my monthly classes will are, are January, Friday, January 12th and Saturday the 13th. I have openings in all three of those classes. So if you have not signed up and would like to, um, same thing, give me a shout and I will sign you up. So, hello, Laurie. Thanks for tuning in. All right, I'm going to, give me just one second, you know, the fancy thing that I have to do, or the techie thing that I have to do. I have to sync my laptop. <laughs> so, I hope, what are you all doing for New Year's Eve? Hello, Miss Jill. How are ya? Let's see if I connect. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Sorry, girls. Hmm. Well, Facebook, come on. Well, I know you all can see me. So I must be on Facebook. Oh, there I am. Oh, delay. Here I am. Got it. Just have to be patient. All right, you can hear me okay? I know last week I had a couple of viewers comment and say 
that my um, audio was going in and out. So I'm hoping that I've solved that problem. Um, if I haven't, I said it's maybe time to get a new phone, which I don't want to do, but um, let me know if you can hear me okay. Hi, hi Fran. Hello from North Dakota, Kathy. Hi Merv. Hi Jan, I didn't see you go by. So thank you everyone. What are your plans for New Year's Eve? I am going to flip my camera around and then I'm going to show you. I'm so excited to demonstrate. Uh, actually, let me tell you this part. I had a stamper from Queensland, Australia reach out to me and um, sent me an email and said, I love a, there's a card that you showed in one of your, one of my videos around Halloween, end of October, um, or maybe before. Maybe it wasn't necessarily the end of October. It was probably the it was probably the middle of October. I had uh, swaps from girls on my team, and two of the girls on my team made these adorable Halloween cards that were um, two of them. Two of them did the same style of card, fancy fold, and it was called the vertical easel card. So Marlene, if you are watching, I'm going to make that card tonight and I'm gonna show you how cool it is and how easy with step-by-step -step instruction, how easy it is to make this sweet fun fold card. So give me a sec, I'm gonna flip it around. Oh, and I forgot to say this last time. There, there is my, um, this is my website, and for all of you who are geared up to watch, or to watch, I'm reading, to order on January 4th when the celebration catalog goes live, this is my host code. If you're ordering $149.99 or less, please use this code. Here's my website. This is where you can find out all about me. If your order is $150 or more, do not use this code because I want you to receive the Stampin' Rewards. But this helps me if you place an order, um, anytime you place an order and you go to my website, it helps me girls. But if you use this co code, my host code, that, um, that connects your orders to me, or that connects all the orders. So I'm able to, um, do extra special little things. Let's <laughs> just leave it at that, um, at my stamp classes. So thank you all for, for all of you who in the past who have used this, that's the new one. And I'll probably have it for a couple more weeks. So here we go. The card that I'm making, this is, here it is, the vertical easel card. And it looks, it's okay, like it's a, it's a cute little card, right? But this is what, why it's called a vertical easel card. I'm doing this, there you go. Do you see that? It's called vertical easel. Isn't that a fancy little name? And it, and it stands up. I know, I wish I could show you. There you can kind of see. It stands up and it is really cute. Jill, I thought it was Queensland where your daughter and family went. I thought it was when I read the email from the sweet lady named Merlene. I thought, I think that's where Jill's family's at right now. All right. If you, um, if you, hello, Patty. This is called the vertical easel card, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make. But I also want to point out, do you not love this sweet little bumblebee? And look at the paper. Ah. So this, if you, if you don't have it. It's in your mini catalog. I can't open this up yet. Hi, Claudia. Um, I can't open this up yet, but this suite is in the mini catalog. Here is, it's called Be My Valentine. Ah, so stinking cute. Look at the cute words. And then it also has a, I'm gonna use it, a coordinating punch, which I'm going to show you something fun. Do you see the hearts right there? And then um, this, I, this makes the body of the bumblebee, but 
I've heard demonstrators they're using this for like a word bubble. I see a glare on there. A word bubble, and then these are two hearts. But it also punches out the wings, and those are the little antennas, and also hearts. So stinking cute. All right, the paper, the DSP that I'm using. This is 12 by 12 paper, but I want to show you how cute it is. Um, whoop, gingham, and sweet little Be My Valentine Bees. Happy New Year. Um, this sweet look at flowers with, you see the little hearts in there? And then stripes. Looks like this is possibly my color, sweet, sweet sorbet and what's that other color? Petal pink. Then jars of honey. I have a customer. No, I actually, she's on my team. Here, if you're local to uh, St. Louis, I have one of the girls on my team is a beekeeper and gave me a bottle of delicious local honey. This is just a sweet little pattern, but it kind of mimics there is a stamp. It's kind of like the bee or bee in flight, you know? So that's cute little stitching. There's some hearts and then tiny little bees. That's the one that I use. There you can see that stitching kind of. Flowers, love this. And then more bees. This one is like honeycomb, only in petal pink. And more bees with flowers. I love it. I love it, I love it. All right, set this to the side. I'm gonna pull in the kit. So you need a piece of, this is crushed curry. It is a regular half, cut in half, five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock. It is scored at two and one eighth and four and one fourth. Two and one eighth, four and one fourth. Then you need a piece of, let's see, we'll do it like this. This is the piece that I, um, the layer on the front, two and three fourths by two and three fourths. And then the piece behind it is Daffodil Delight, and it is two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths, like that. Um, you need a piece of, let's see, two pieces, sorry, of DSP. This is the, the, the DSP is called Be Mine. This is one and seven eighths by five and one fourth. And then a skinny little piece. Oops, where's my oh? Same same DSP, one and one fourth by five and one fourth. And then these are scraps. This is just what I stamped the the B um, on. So two little scraps, a basic white, and <laughs> Okay. You need two pieces. I'm gonna have to cut it. Okay, you need two pieces of um, Daffodil Delight. Two by, oh, here it is. Oh, got caught in this. Okay, this piece right here, these two pieces right here, these, this is in Daffodil Delight. These squares are two inches by two inches, two by two. And then I scored them at one and they're called the hinges and you'll see what I do with them in just a second. So Daffodil Delight, two pieces, two by two and scored at one inch right there in the middle. Hope that makes sense to everyone. All right, I think that's it. You wanna take a quick pick so you can copy my measurements to recreate this adorable card. <laughs> All right, here we go. Scooch this off to the side. Okay, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at two and one eighth and four and one fourth. I'm gonna bring in my bone folder. Okay, so there you can start to see 
the bones of the folder. And then we're gonna bring in the two pieces of DSP. This is one and seven eighths by five and one fourth. Isn't it cute? I love the bees. on girls <laughs> I got ahead of myself okay <laughs> oh, this goes oh, I don't know I, yeah I want to show you the hinges go underneath why this is why <laughs> the hinges go underneath to make that little pop up look at me okay forget that I just did that we're going to do these first, and you're going to fold them in half like that, with the bone folder. We want the DSP to cover them up, cover up the, the hinges. I think it could have, I could have put it on top. It really doesn't make a whole lot of difference, but I just want to show you how I did it. So see how it is? Those are the hinges. And I'm going to take my Tombow glue. Put one of them right here so it's it's right up against that score and I'm going to do the same thing for this side just like that and now I'm going to bring in my DSP Probably just for the sake of time, I mean, it's stuck pretty good. Um, you know, I might let that set for just a second, but I think it's okay. It feels like it's sticking. And see how it just looks cleaner with the pieces of DSP. I'm gonna put a little bit more on this on top of it. So see why it's called a hinge. All right, just like that. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put um, glue on top of this. And the two and seven eighths by two, two, two and seven eighths square goes on top of it. All right, now I'm going to let that sit just like that. Wait till it sets up just for a second. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my stamps. And we're going to use Pool Party for the Wings, um, Daffodil Delight for the Body of the Bee, and we're going to use Memento Black for the antenna and the, the stripes on the bee. So, oh, I'm going to bring in my pierce mat. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you like it, Kathy. I, so um, someone asked me, do you prefer to do the, the, the yellow, the daffodil delight first or the stripes? I've done it both ways and I think it's easier to line up when you do the stripes first and then the body of the bee or the yellow on the bee. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna cover this up. Daffodil delight. And I always recommend if you're a brand new stamper, see it, this pierce mat just gives it a better, I just really am like the, what do you call it? Um, I just really feel like this pierce mat, it's not very expensive. It just gives a better, oh my goodness, better image. Sorry, I just realized I'm off the camera. 
um, uh, when you're stamping, you just get a better image, okay? So I'm gonna punch out. It'll be body. And then set this to the side. And then I'm gonna bring in my pool party. This is for the wings. Give me a little strip. I was really talented girls I could have put it all on one you know like piece of paper I just have trouble doing that I you know um, I know some demonstrators they're like make a template and then you can stamp it kind of all in the same area and punch it out I just am not that talented I have always had trouble um, I don't know lining it up I just do better lining it up and getting it punched out the way I want it to when I do it separately. So, oh. There, I should have done that. Hold on. Do it. That way. I need to put a little face on it. All these cute little accessories. If you look, there's all sorts of different faces. There's the winky eye, and then look, oh, this one kind of looks angry. I think this is the angry bee face. This is the sweet. Oh, this is the sweet little smile, and there's the one we're using right now. <laughs> so cute. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is, here's my basic white, two and three fourths by two and three fourths. And I'm going to bring in Sweet Sorbet. This is like a lighter version of Puppy Parade, I think. And Happy Valentine's Day is going to go up in the corner. Assemble my little bubble bee. Oh my goodness. Sometimes when you're gluing, this needs to be on like a. And I'm going to pop it up on dimensionals. Thanks, Fran. <laughs> and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use some of my mini dimensionals on his on his or her antennas. <laughs> have a special meal or have you gone out for New Year's Eve or have you cooked? Usually on New Year's Eve we eat later than usual but because we're doing a Facebook live tonight it'll be a little bit later. All right that's how it looks so far. Oh and I'm gonna put where is my Put some Winkostella on its wings. 
make them sparkly. <laughs> I'm going to bring that embellishments that come with the suite and they are adorable they're called the adhesive back hearts and flowers and until I've been using them I they're kind of they're enamel um, so they kind of have like a bright shimmer or yeah like a shimmer to them same one up here Pulled that up. Mmm, <gasps> plan. That sounds delicious. Okay. The next thing we have to do is this is what holds the pin, or let's see, makes the triangle stand up. So for this piece, the one and one fourth by five and one fourth. All we have to do is we're going to um, give it a whole bunch of dimensionals, but we're going to stay away from the side that um, this panel butts up to, I guess you would say. That's going to hold it in place, like when you're wanting to, when the recipient wants to like stand it up. So I think I'm just going to go kind of straight down the middle. So, <laughs> People, I have friends. They cut. <laughs> they they are they're dimensional. Um, they conserve their dimensionals, <laughs> and they would. I know this would make them crazy if they saw this. <laughs> Let's see. Let me put. I'm gonna put one up here. <laughs> Do any of you love dimensionals like I love dimensionals? <laughs> I hope you do. You're probably looking at, if you don't, you're probably like, Kim Dent, you are crazy girl. But I just, I like it to stand up and I like it to stay. So no, I am not one of those people who can serve on the dimensionals. I don't go too crazy, but I know I have friends and they're like, okay, this piece is what's gonna hold the panel in place. So we want it to stay. So it's gonna tuck right underneath there. The last thing I gotta do is, oh, did I forget? <laughs> there is one more piece of white, girls. Hold on just one second. I thought I had it. Let's see. Well, let's see. <laughs> no, it must not have. It's two and three fourths by five and a four. Let's see if this works. Yep. So this piece, this large piece, I I don't know what happened to it. Must have fallen out. This is two and three fourths by five and a four. And on mine, on the outside, I have Happy Valentine's Day. On the inside, I have You'll Always Be the One for Me. See, and, let's see, I did that in black. I don't know how much I'm sure you Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Oh, Brian, where did the piercement go? go to my honey Valentine and I'll have to make my sweet my sweet little Vera I'll have to make her one. 
of a Valentine. It's so fun. It's so, so fun. I know those of you who are grandmas, nanas, grannies, um, you've been telling me, you know, before she was born, how fun it was going to be to be a grandma. I am Poppy. I think I've probably said that to you all. Rick is Pop Pop. That's his grandpa name, and I am Poppy. Um, like the flower. I have some people, they kind of scrunch their nose up when I say it, but it's Poppy for the flower. And we have loved every minute of having little baby Vera with us. So now I I, I understood what you were saying before, but man, do I really get it now. So it's fun making her cards. And we always um, are so far, thanks, uh, um, so far for Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, and now I just ordered Valentine. We've been ordering two books for like, well, no, Christmas she got four books um, for every occasion. <laughs> And, and I love doing that. She's got a sweet little library, little li little little library in her little nursery. So the one that I just got um, for her just came today. Love Amazon. Um, it is about ladybugs. So she could, and I have to find another one to get. Okay, this is my inside. And where's my? Mm -hmm. Girls, I know it's here. I can't find my snail adhesive. <laughs> Come on, where are you? <laughs> I'm talking too much. Here it is. It slid over here. Ah, <laughs> uh, hi Kelly. Look, you're gonna love this card. This is the inside of the first card that I made, and it is called a vertical easel card. So I just decided when I was piddling around stamping this afternoon, I thought this looked adorable on the inside. So here you go. You've just tuned in. This is the vertical easel card, and it really is easy to make, especially if you pay attention. <laughs> if, um, if you need help or something doesn't make sense, just a comment or um, yes, give me a call or a text, but isn't that stinking cute? So, vertical easel card, Merlene from Queensland. I hope you've seen how easy it is to make one of these. All right, let me, this next, oh no, I have two more things. I wanted to show you, here's a, just a scrap of sweet sorbet. Oh, thanks, Kathy. And I just wanted to show you, like, I am, I, I'm not very imaginative, I guess, but like some demonstrator pointed out, look at the hearts. So it's a versatile punch because not only can it punch out the B with the wings and the antenna, that was another thing I didn't realize till we had an event, I'll show you. Um, and this can be a word bubble, like if you could put, you know, I love you or something inside there. Anyway, word bubble and hearts also B punch. Um, we had an event, let's see, I can't even think when it was, it was this fall, and as demonstrators, you know, we get to order the stuff way ahead of time, and so at this event called Creativity Now, we, um, it was a virtual event, so I wanted to show you two of the cards that we made, just to get an idea of how cute and how many things you can do. There you can see, there's the flowers um, from that the, the, what do we call it? The adhesive bath hearts and flowers. I just love them. So cute. So, and here's another one. There you can see there's a, a honeycomb stamp. And then, isn't this a fun way? Look at how cute it is to um, just use up, like, I always have little bitty pieces of DSP. And it was used, both of them just kind of angled um, behind one another. Look how cute that is. And then this piece popped up. So that's popped up on dimensionals and the bees popped up. So I love you no matter what. You make my heart buzz. There's those, that's um, the, I don't know what we call it. The 
the in flight, the stitching, that's that stamp going through there. So I hope you like it. All right, the next card. I gotta clean up this mess first. <laughs> the next card that I'm gonna make for you is out of the celebration catalog. So if you're brand new, Celebration is Stampin' Up's biggest promotion, and it is it starts on January 4th. I'll put this here. It starts on January 4th and goes through February 29th. And it's it's for every $50 or $100 that you spend, you get to pick a free item out of this catalog and there's no limit. Um Let's see. You'll hear me talk about it probably more next week. Well, yeah, next week I'll be able to open up the catalog too. So that'll be good. I think it's a good one. I hope you all, I've only heard positive things from my friends who have um, received their catalogs and saying how good it is. And I agree. I think it is a, another knocked it out of the ballpark, both celebration and um, and the mini catalog. So there's that. The second card that I'm making you really is a it's a quick and easy one, no fancy fold. Um, the the stamp set and the embossing folder are called Softly Sophisticated. So this is one of the $100 offerings. Um, so you could get this together, you spend 100, you can pick this. I fell in love with this embossing folder. So I think it's very, I don't know, for some reason, I think it's very feminine. Um, it's kind of lacy, so it's one that I would definitely use like on a, um, a feminine card or it just reminds me, I would not use this type of card. Maybe I'll, maybe later I'll change my mind, but I wouldn't use it like on a masculine card. The softly sophisticated flowers, you're in my thoughts. That could be for so many different reasons. I, re I really appreciate you. And then hello there. So it's seven stamps. Three, wor three words, three sentiments, and then um, four flowers and leaves, I guess. So this is the card that I um, that I created. I wish I could pop open the uh, catalog, but really, I got the idea when you if you pop open your celebration catalog. Let me find it. It is on page. 14 and you'll see where I got the inspiration from I I just added this is lemon lolly daffodil delight and there you can see look how pretty that embossing folder is so there's the stamps let's show I'll show you how quick and easy it is to make thank you thank you Kathy this is so easy it's a quick one um, lemon lolly five and a half by eight and a half. You need two pieces of basic white, three and three fourths by five, and a piece of daffodil delight, four by five and one fourth. And then this piece of basic white, it's two and a half by three and three fourths. And I'll show you the die that I used. So last week, I think it was, I, I uh, debuted this one, Thoughtful Expressions. It was one that I um, was able to get early because I'm on the Sales and Promotions Council for Stampin' Up! this year. And so um, I fell in love with the Hummingbird, but with the stamp sets, it, with the stamp set, but more than the, the stamp set, I fell in love with the die set. Oh, oh my goodness, girls. This one. And this is the one that I used.
to cut this out. Oh my goodness, it's these. It's these. I am so in love with them. So thoughtful expressions, great stamp set, but you gotta get the bundle. It's these, these just- well, You'll use them forever. So there you go. I'm gonna set that to the side. Along with Softly Sophisticated, I also am using on the inside of the card, hope you know, and this is in the annual catalog. So this will have um, till the, so the end of April. I should know this. No, yes, the end of April. April 30th, it's in the catalog. And we'll see if it gets carried over. So for um, for the card, what I did was I there I wanted you to see I thought I'd take care of this early, so I ran this through the softly sophisticated embossing folder that is going to be found in the celebration catalog. I'm gonna layer this onto. Did it, almost did it again, girls. On to Daffodil Delight. This piece gets layered on to Lemon Lolly. And that's a pretty soft color. I like it a lot. So this go on top of this and then this piece the two and a half by three and three fourths I already cut out that die that I showed you oh and this was so this was for the outside that I ran through the embossing folder this one is going to be for the inside the colors that I used are I see I'm missing one All right, we use Lemon Lolly and Lost Lagoon. And for this one, I stamped the, you know, greenery, I guess you would say, the leaves and the stems. I put it pretty high. Oh, I don't have my pear snatch. I'm just preaching to you about how much better. And then I use Lemon Lolly for the flowers. Okay, this single little bud right there, I'm going to set it up with, there's where it's going to come out, right there. So that's going to be my what I'm using like as my visual to line up. And then Wink of Stella. And I know what I did with my crushed curry. Hold on, girls. I carried it over to my other area. Hold on. I think we're going to use Daffodil Delight. It's not quite as dark as this, but so you know on my sample, I used Crush Curry. And the words. says, may you find peace in the days to come and in loving thoughts that surround you now. So, oh, this is for the inside. Oh my goodness, girls. <laughs> I have not had any champagne. <laughs> there we go. And there we go. 
this is what goes on the outside. You're in my thoughts. because I want to decorate the inside of my car just like the outside. So bring back Lost Lagoon. I never thought I would use this color so much, but I love it. And I love that it's not, like that's not, I think before Lost Lagoon came in, I probably, oh, I probably would have grabbed, um, I don't know, old olive maybe. Get that little dot was on there. Oh well. It's a handmade card. You see where it touched right there. Um, but Lost Lagoon. This looks so pretty with the yellows. And lemon, lemon lolly. Good. And then, this is going to go on the inside of the card. And then tonight, I'm going to do something fancy for you. See if I can recreate this. I'm not usually, I think actually this probably is the first time I've ever done something like this on camera. So let's see, I start, I put, I put a whole bunch of stamp and seal like that. Thank you, Shirley. Okay, then I started. Is that how I did it? I gotta look at it. So it came like this. And I crossed it. It came up like this. I made like a Z kind of. Or an In practice and girls, okay. Kind of backwards Z. Backwards Z. Then make sure you have yourself, if you don't have paper snips, you need to get yourself some. They are the best. See, that looks good. I don't usually do that. I don't, I've been watching other demonstrators and, oh, okay, and to anchor it down, we're going to put up, come on. Oh, and also this ribbon is with the, um, it has, it's called the Sheer Ribbon Combo Pack. It's got this pretty bubble bath, lemon lolly, and then a blue, and, and then a blue. I've used up all the blue, so I'm trying to use up the yellow and the bubble bath. <laughs> so for this... We just want to anchor down that ribbon so it doesn't, I guess, pop out. And oh, thank you, Jan. This one is an easy one. It's taking me longer because I'm gabbing, you know, but if I was making them, and this one, this layout, like, he, and the stamp set can be used for so many different things. You're in my thoughts, you know. I know, this one is kind of a sympathy card. May you find peace in the days to come in the loving thoughts that surround you now, but... I love this one. Just saying thank you doesn't seem like enough. Hope you know how much your kindness is appreciated. 
You are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. This one, oh, this, truly deeply, truly deeply grateful. That will look pretty on an envelope. And then wishing you comfort, thinking of you today. And then I think it goes with this and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that and so on. And then miss you, hello friend. This is just a good one. So I am always like, um, thank you, Sandy. Like when a new catalog comes out, people ask, you know, like, what do you go to? I usually go to the back of the catalog to see like what new tools we get. But then my next thing when I dive in is um, I always look for the words. I always, I, there are not too many word sets that Stampin' Up! comes out with that I don't have. So that's kind of my, that's one of my weaknesses, along with flower stamp sets and heart stamp sets. So, oh, and then one more thing. almost forgot this. This is, um, I used this last week. These are in the mini catalog, Iridescent Foil Gems. And let's see, here's my take your pick tool. Love these. This card would also be really pretty. Um, like I also, I, oft, I, I almost thought of um, embossing, like this would be pretty embossed in gold. You're in my thoughts. But just a little flower sprig and cute words and love the, the, um, the label died from Thoughtful Expressions. So I'm glad you like them. Let me spin around. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I, um, I smell the steak that's grilling upstairs. <laughs> so I hope you all have a happy new year. Thank you, Kelly. Um, I hope, hope you all have a happy new year. God's blessings for 2024. Um, I appreciate all of you. Bye-bye.